Holy shit, more content! Yeah, I'm back with Heretic. Can't believe I've been holding this LP on hold for this long. Oh man, I'm just dreading this. But you know what? I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna do episode 5. Uh, second hardest difficulty, which is translated to ultra violence, of course. And let's begin. Well, it's been fun, guys. I'm gonna go kill myself. Okay, seriously, let's just get on with this. <laughs> Sorry if there was a loud clonk right there. I just took my headset off. Just wanted to prove a point that this is overwhelming. <sighs> well, I have played this level several times and I figured out a strategy on how you'll be able to do this. So yeah, this is gonna turn into like a walkthrough of some kind, but you know, that's kind of my commentary type of deal anyway. First off, you want to go ahead and wake up everyone, grab the gauntlets, getting a little bit of ammo on the way, and then head into this room and stand right here. That way the golems up in those uh, rooms there won't shoot you from there. And that way you'll be able to lure the gargoyles over here and that thing. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, that's manageable. Quit punching me. Fuck. Okay, we're still good. Um, there is a couple more of those guys out there. Oh, there you are. Come on. Hello. You want to join in? You missed. Come on. Yeah, this is kind of, like, pussy mode or something like that. But, you know what? If this requires a strategy, goddammit, it'll require it. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of this stuff, and also try to lure some... one of those gargoyles down here. Whoa, missed. Why didn't you... Okay, bit of a rocky start, but I think there's still plenty of health outside. There. Should have... yeah, there you go. Uh, another straggler. Okay. Nope. Oh, how, how did I not see you? Okay. Alright, for the next part. Stand right here and snipe out the golems in that room right there. Or you can do it from that side too. But I'm doing on this side on account of there's that shield right there and I want it. And this is probably gonna take a little bit long because I have to snipe these guys with this freaking pea shooter of a wand. <laughs> okay. And I don't think there's any more of them so that's probably good. So, now we're going to go on to this next part, which is pretty much going to be risky, but hopefully I can pull it off without any interruptions. Next up, you want to grab this, run as hell, grab that backpack, run to this pillar, and head straight up. That's what we need to clear out those golems for, is to get up here, so we can get the goodie of a shield like that thing. And from here on in, it should be more easier now. Because now you have don't have anything right behind you to sneak up on you. And we'll get that Tomb of Power. And we're going to have a fun time with it. You want to know why? Because we're going to use it right away. And we're going to use that pea shooter to be something grand of a pea shooter insert name here, I don't know. And now this pea shooter is actually useful, because it spreads, like, a lot. Does both hit scan and projectile. Which
which shall be good, useful against these guys. Let's try it here now. Oh, hey, a uh, fire mace. What the hell's that doing there? I'm saying that because when I did a lot of practice runs this level, I always seemed to have a random encounter of finding a fire mace. And I found, now I just found one that's just right there. And another one that where that uh, shield was at. Didn't know that. I think that's like a random chance. Like, that's kind of interesting. I. Didn't know that game, this game would do that. But meh. Actually, what I should have done was to go on the other side, but that would probably be congested. And yellow key, yes. Yeah, this should be more than enough arrows for me to get over here to this quiver. With more arrows. So now, yeah, this is this isn't so bad now that I have a strategy. So, what's been holding me back so, uh, for so long to continue this? Uh, several good games, simply put. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I've been playing the usual of like Minecraft or Terraria, um, and of course, the recent game came out, Deus Ex: Human Revolution, and that's been fun as hell. So that, so yeah, that game itself has probably gotten me into the series of Deus Ex. I should see how I can get my hands on the first one and actually pay attention to what I'm shooting or what I'm doing in general. And of course, Mike Lad has to do a LP of it. Well, that's his thing. That's probably his thing anyway. He's a big fan of it, and of course, he likes to go on the hardest difficulty and do it blind. Figured that's pretty much the most fun out of it. And so far I'm having fun with it, however I'm like really slow at it just because of the whole stealth stuff. It's like that game was pretty much made for you to be a lot more stealthy, although considering with Mike's case of it, he just wants to go sniper sniper and go full out assault or something like that. <laughs> Get quick scope 360 every time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's Mike Lett. He's the sniper fanatic. I mean, what else are we gonna expect from him? Oh, uh, sniping fun. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Yeah, I was supposed to use this. Whoops. Come on. Where'd you go? There, I want to use up uh, some my shots and aim well with it so I don't waste any of them. Yeah, I'm conserving my ammo like I've always done before, but in this case, it's well, more needed than anything. There. Yeah, not bad. Ooh, a little jump lag right there, but no problem. So yeah, not only have I been playing some other good games recently, it's just that I... Well, I've been feeling like Mike as well, like, during that time, uh, during that time frame, like, we both lost our, uh, LPing mojo for a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Figured this would kickstart it again. I would like to LP some other games. Well, actually, have I not done an LP for a console game yet? 
Blasphemy! Why are you doing console? Stay on the PC! No. Um, okay, first I want to uh, grab this. Get the hell out. Shit! No, 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 no. This is bad, this is bad. Okay. Sorry, I <laughs> wasn't expecting him there. Guess I wasn't as thorough of killing everything. And here's the fire mace that randomly spawns on this level wherever it wants. I need to look that up, actually. I want to see if that's the case, because I did choose the second hardest difficulty, did I not? Of course, I heard the, uh, the disciples. I don't know where this will be useful for, this fire mace. I always keep questioning it. Like, I mean, sure, yeah, it, it's rapid fire, but can it do much damage? I mean, it's like a... What slot is this? Is that... A uh, slot 7 weapon, that's what it is. Yeah. Back to crossbow. Okay, let's try to listen out for them. Actually, I shouldn't be here yet. Because there's actually two iron glitches in that room. That's why I darted. Because I want to get the Phoenix Ride, which uh, is where we're about to get next in a little bit. Okay, we got ourselves what should be labeled as, should be labeled as a secret, but it's not. And we'll get this. Yeah, it's alright to spam that if you need to. And we're gonna run back, get the green key. And when I step into that room, drop down here quickly. And this is where you get the golden beauty that is the Phoenix Rod. And I shouldn't have used that. Because I'm a dumbass. I should have been saving it for the Iron Liches. Uh, oh. But now I have to head back and head to that one green door nearby. And I hear those liches. Uh, let's do this. What the fuck? Fire Mace's count is physical and not magic? Shit. Well, that was a waste. Oh, man. Okay, why is that golem over there? Come on. There. Okay, this is gonna be difficult since it is, like, like, up in my grill. Yep, like that. Is that thing still there? Yes. Uh, okay. Let's try the other side. Other side is a little bit more cramped. Yeah, they're like way too up in my grill. <laughs> what am I doing on time? Uh, 14 minutes. Shoot. Wow. I wasted all of them that didn't kill them. Now I have to wait for this tornado. All right, speed up done. Takes care of that. Oh, both of them went down easily now. That's good. 
Uh, to fear, we'll get more ammo for that Phoenix Rod. And this here is a case where I'm going to use that Chaos Device. As you see, the room closes up. There is actually a way out, but the way out is blocked by Disciples, so... I'm going to give them a surprise attack. Yeah. Whoa. Actually, can I... Yay! Fried chicken! And jumpling, jumping lag. Did I say jumpling? <laughs> jumpling. I don't know why, but when I said jumpling, it reminds me of zergling. Even though I don't play StarCraft 2. And I'm just speaking my mind. Sure. Oh my god, ghost chickens. <laughs> okay, before we do any of this uh, overwhelming shit, uh, use the wings to get this here. I love me an enchanted shield. And I love me the ring. Alright, so now for this next part, we grab this. Hey, I need a... Actually, no, let's not do it just yet. Well, I wake him up anyway. Yep, that's a Molotor on the first level of this episode. Can you see how this level's a dick? Oh, wait, I think it's gone. No, wait, they're shooting more. Oh wait, I think I made those... Ow. Those, uh... Whirlwinds disappear by just being at the top of the map. And ow. <laughs> Don't know why I say ow. Fall damage doesn't hurt me. Okay. Now here's what we do. Use the ring, of course. And we're gonna use these, uh, bombs as well. I don't know if you noticed it. Helps speed up the damage. And I'm using the gauntlets against it because it's, uh... Well, since I'm invincible, I can just go ahead and get up close and personal with this and do free damage so I don't waste any ammunition. So now we just use the rest of this. It should be down pretty soon. And that is how you complete the first level of this episode. Like that. Turned out pretty well, actually. And I'm glad that part's over with, because I think the rest of the levels should be more easygoing. Ah! Smack dab in front of the fireball. That was smart. Uh, can I get across here? There we go. And we got ourselves a tomb of power to take us over to the next level. How nice. Okay. Well then. Oh wait, I forgot to. <laughs> Whoops! I should get that switch right there. Okay, now we can exit. And that's how you do it. Cannot pronounce that map name cliffs thing. Okay. That was all fine and good. So, join me next time for Rapids. Alright. Later.